Scout and I'm Assistant County Commissioner for Inclusion. I'm here at Minch Scout Hut with Assistant Scout Leader Harry and Scout the Dog. We've come to check on the hut to make sure everything's okay during lockdown. But whilst we're here, we thought we'd have a go at Activity 10 from the County Water Activity Day. These amazing activities have been developed by the Forest of Dean and can be downloaded from the County website. Each activity has its own sheet. Activity 10 is sponge archery. Archery is all about getting a projectile as close to the bullseye as you can, with points gained for closeness to the target. For this activity, you're going to need to prepare a target and some projectiles. Right. The activity sheet suggests that you could make a target using a bucket for the centre and ropes for the outside areas. You could do that. You could make your um, targets on the horizontal surface, or you could get some chalk out, find yourself a nice clear wall, be sure to check with mum and dad, and maybe you could chalk a vertical target. You may already have something that you could use as a target. We happen to have something left over from a camp. We think this makes a fantastic target. You might have noticed that what we've done with all of our targets is we've put some sort of scoring mechanism to say which area is worth how many points. So make sure you decide that before you start playing. If you don't have a lot of space and you can't make a nice wide target, you could always make a linear one where the smaller the receptacle and the further away it is from your starting point, your throwing point, the more points it's worth. Just use your imagination and come up with something that works for you in the space you've got. Now that you've made your targets, you need to think about your projectiles. The easiest thing is to get a bucket of water and some nice squidgy sponges that you can get plenty of water in. These are going to be really good for throwing at your targets. <laughs> Don't forget to keep score. Go. Let's play. I'm <laughs> going to be destroying the target. These sponges fly well though. <laughs> if you haven't got a suitable outside space for sponge archery, you can still play this activity indoors. You could use a range of things that you could find in your kitchen and maybe set up a target area in your kitchen that gets put down some towels or maybe in your bath. Maybe you've got some chalk at home or some whiteboard pens. Maybe you could draw targets on your tiles. You can also use smaller sponges to uh, minimise the mess. Maybe you can cut them up to be smaller still. Parents, why not get in touch with your friends and other members of your scout group? It may be that not everybody is even aware of these activities and not everybody is managing to get onto the internet or has a printer. Why not ask them if they'd like a printed copy of the activities? If you or somebody you're playing with has additional needs, lots of the activities can be adapted. Why not borrow ideas from adaptive sports? Sponge archery could be adapted in many ways. If somebody you're playing with has got mobility issues, maybe all players could sit down to take their throws. If somebody's got visual impairment, why not borrow some ideas from adaptive sports? Maybe all the players could be blindfolded and you could use a bell behind the target to guide people as to where to throw. I'm sure that those of you with additional needs have got lots of ideas about how we could adapt these and other activities. Please do get in touch with us and share your ideas with us. We'd love to spread them more widely. Oh no, it looks like Harry's come up with an adaptation of his own. I could be in trouble. <laughs>